Good morning. A COT data breakdown for the QuasiDB service. COT is commitment of traders. Um, so we want to look at what the uh, big fish are doing and how they're sort of invested monetarily. Uh, so we want to look at the non-coms and there are also comms. So commercials are non-commercials, but we just want, want to focus for the sake of simplicity for this video, uh, non-coms, non-commercials. What are non-commercials? They are, uh, they tend to be uh, large individual investors, hedge funds, and large financial institutions. So when these guys get together and they go one particular way, we want to pay attention to it. We don't want to fight the non-coms because these guys are, um, they've got big pockets and they can, um, you know, swing the market. So that's that, that. Hopefully, that's clear. We just focus on the non-com. So every Friday, if I can, around about eight thirty UK time, I'll release the commitment of traders data, and so they'll come into the uh, private channel as follows. And you look at this, go, wow, this is quite confusing, but it's not too bad. All we want to do is focus on this top right-hand section. The twenty-six week average for gold is three hundred twenty-two thousand long. 73,000 short, okay, so just bear that in mind, and these are 10-year high, 3-year high, and things like that. So we look at uh, this week, which is this uh, row, and we look at the week prior. The week prior, there were 309,000 lots long, and they reduced their longs, okay, so they actually reduced it by a fairly significant amount, by 6,000 contracts. So they, these guys are reducing long, so that's bearish, okay? And if we look at the short, uh, it went from 57,000 to 68,000 short, so that's bearish. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And I don't really have to talk too much because I don't want to um, overcomplicate things. All you want to do is just simply look at this top right-hand section. And once you're familiar and comfortable with that, then we can go on to these other aspects of the COP report. But just for now, just focus on this and then look at the difference from the week prior. And we see how they're reducing their longs over time. And that's, uh, that's quite bearish gold. And it makes sense if you look at the US yields as well. So, and when we look at the gold bubble, that was strong sell. <laughs> so if we can get things to align, then we'll do quite well. Let's look at, um, perhaps we'll look at this one. I don't, I think it's Euro. So um, they increased our longs from 220,000 to 222, um, but they increased their shorts. So that's like a mixed picture for the Euro. So ideally we want to um, them to go one way and then to go one way. At this, at this particular point on Euro, that they've gone long, but they've gone more short. <laughs> so let's look at uh, pound. I think it's, yeah, this is pound. And let's have a look. They reduced their longs ever so slightly, 513 to 269. And they increased their short. So it could be a bit toppy for the pound. Um, and I personally think it's actually a stop run. And um, that pound bubble was way too extreme as well. So this could indicate a top on the pound. But of course, it will depend on Friday's COP report. So hopefully that helps. Just focus on the top right-hand section, and then we can move on to the commercials and how they come into play at a later date. Uh, the commercials are interesting when they are very extreme um, that we'll see reversals. And that's what we see on the bubbles, which is really, really interesting. So by, by extreme, I mean, look at the, um, the three-year high and the 10-year high. When the contracts are nearing those extremes, they tend to be right, and then we'll see a reversal. So, uh, but just for now, just focus on the non-coms and then look at the week prior. And so, hopefully, that helps. I'm going to make the change on the spreadsheet over the weekend, and um, that's that's basically to avoid the bubbles, but now very extreme, and so we won't get any false positives. So, yeah, hopefully, it helps, and I'll speak to you guys soon.